is that I'm the licensee, not my mum. Just because she's been holding the fort for the past few months does not give her rights over me. Still my pub. Yes, but with Gabrielle to look after, you can't be there full time. So you think I should let her take over? I'm not saying that. Oh, she's your mother, Bernice. Why the big power struggle? I'm sure if you just talk to her, you can sort things out. Yeah, I suppose you're right. But I'm not backing down. I still stand by what I said last night. Bernice, talk to her. Don't start another slanging match. I won't. I'll be very calm and rational. Good. As long as she is. I'm sick of being taken for granted. Look how hard I work to keep this place going. Yeah, well, we both do. And how am I repaid? By being told to mind my own business. Do you stand for that? I'm just the hired help. Well, I'm not. I think she's forgotten how much money I've invested in this pub. Maybe you should remind her. Don't worry, I intend to. What, no breakfast? Well, let's do it yourself this morning. What do you think of this? What? Look, I can't decide between the rapid action espresso machine and the all-in-one coffee granulator. Maybe I'll get both. At those prices, I don't think so. Bob, we need a decent coffee maker. Gone are the days where people may do with powdered instant and a bit of froth. Oh, well, look. There's a retail outlet in Houghton. Got to go and look at some furniture. I'll pop in later. Hang on a sec. You haven't even got planning permission for this cafe yet. It's a bit early to start investing capital, isn't it? Only looking. Are you sure? Bob, I'm your wife. Don't you trust me? Look, I don't want you buying anything without my permission. I mean it, Viv. This is my serious voice. Ooh, I love it when you put your foot down. Pour us a cup while I get changed. <laughs> Why are you letting her do this? Fear not, my child. No, this cafe nonsense, it's just pie in the sky. It'll never get off the ground. How do you know that? Let's just call it intuition. <sighs> what, so you reckon Mum's going to come back from hot and empty-handed? Of course. I have made my feelings crystal clear. Why haven't these been put on the tables? Don't start on me, Benice. I'm doing the best I can. I can't turn my back for two minutes. Mum! I'd go easy on her if I were you. Did I ask for your opinion? What time do you call this? I beg your pardon. Some of us have been working since nine. Yeah, well, it doesn't show. Why hasn't that whiskey been replaced? I'm just guessing here. But I'd say it's because you walked out in the middle of a shift. We open in an hour. Better get your skates on then, hadn't you? After all, it's your pub. Where do you think you're going? I haven't decided. Leeds, I expect. I could do with some new shoes. But it's not your day off. Oh, give it a rest, Bernice. I'm your mother, not some hired skivvy. Yeah, well, if you were, I probably would have sacked you by now. Oh, yeah. Well, why don't I save you the bother? I quit. Don't be ridiculous. You think you can run this place single-handed? Fine, go ahead. I've got better things to do with my time than stand here being verbally abused by my only daughter. Mum! <sighs> nice one, Bernice. Never guess what she's done now. Hello, Chloe. Hi. Apparently, it's now my special responsibility to clean all the toilets. Flaming Nicola. Oh, what's happened to you? Nothing. I told Nicola I slipped and bashed me out of the toilet seat. You want to get that looked at? You might have concussion. No, I didn't really bash my head. That's just what I told Nicola. Oh, I see. So you're skiving. Well, Scott, I'm not a lavatory attendant. Still, every cloud has a silver lining. You can treat me to an early lunch. Oh, well, no, I can't. I'm busy. I can't finish that later. I need some tender loving kids. Well, I'm working, darling. Oh, all we ever do is work. Oh. I can't even remember the last time I took a holiday. You're taking one today, aren't you? No, what? I mean a proper holiday. Somewhere hot and sticky. Mm. Like Mauritius, Acapulco. Aren't you even tempted? Yeah, very nice, but we haven't got any money. Minor detail. God, I'm sorry, but no. You know, you used to be fun. Oh. I can't afford to take her on holiday. Aye, but can you afford not to? You look tired. It's hardly surprising, is it? I had three call-outs last night. Three? Yep. Maybe I should take a leaf out of your book and try and get myself disqualified, eh? So it, I thought we were bringing in a locum to cover the extra workload. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, so am I. This is so unfair. I wasn't even remotely drunk. I'd only had a couple of glasses. <laughs> Haven't the police got better things to do with their time? At least you've got someone to blame, then, eh? Obviously, I don't deny that I was over the limit. So, what are you going to do about it? I must find a driver. Oh, well, exactly. 
Hello. Hi. Question is where? Where what? Uh, Zoe's trying to find a driver. Oh, I'm hoping to do my test soon. No, no. Uh, I need someone pretty much straight away. Oh, well, if you're still stuck in a few weeks' time, you know where I am. You do realise if you employ a driver, it'll make a huge dent in our budget. What? No, hold, wait, wait a minute, Zoe. I thought you were paying for the driver. Yes, but on the other hand, it is a business expense. Zoe. Now what? Nothing. Nothing. If you don't know what the problem is, I give up. Sometimes Scott forgets how lucky he's got me. He is working today. Mm, unlike some people. Nicola knows you're wagging it. You told her? She guessed. Oh, that's another thing I hate about her. She's got such a suspicious nature. Yeah, but she's right though, isn't she? Guess who ended up with his arm down the toilet when you cried off? Sorry. Don't worry. She told me to leave the ladies. That's the job for you in the morning. <laughs> if I show up. Which you will. I hate my life. Oh, give it a rest, the pair of you. The job's so terrible. Leave. And do what? We haven't all got millionaires to sponge off. Excuse me? You forgetting who's paying for these drinks? Sorry, you know what I mean. Well, Ashley, am I pleased to see you? Did you speak to Diane? Sort of. And? She's quit. What? Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, I never encouraged her. You did threaten to sack her. Bernice! I didn't mean it. You should have seen the state of this place when I came in. She deliberately makes me say things that she knows I'll regret. I'm sure it wasn't as bad as it seemed. Oh, believe me, it was. It's ridiculous. I was going to make the peace with her. Things will be fine once you've both calmed down. I'm perfectly calm. Nice. I thought I told you to use the back door. Did you? This is business, not pleasure. What's this? I want you to deliver a car for me. Well, I thought Tony looked after your motors. Are you interested in this job or not? Of course. Well then, stop wasting my time with pointless questions. Details are inside. Go. Two orange juices. Thank you very much. Maybe we could share the cost. No, I'm sorry, but you lost your licence. You're responsible for the consequences. It's not as if you're short of a bother, Sue, is it? But I'd only be employing a driver for work purposes. It's not a legitimate business expense. If it was, we'd all have a chauffeur, wouldn't we? Thank oh. you. You looking for a chauffeur? Uh, no, no, not me. Uh... Really? Uh, same again, Louise. We've got no fivers, no prizes for guessing you didn't go to the bank. Charity, I'm going to have to change the barrel. Oh, don't worry, I'll just have a bottle. I suppose that's your mother's fault as well. I didn't say a word. You didn't have to. Okay, I know I shouldn't have flown off the handle. I'll talk to her, smooth things over. If she ever comes back. Louise, will you just get on with your job and stop interfering? Careful, Bernice. If I walk, you'll really be in trouble. Hey, I think I might find the answer to your prayers. It's always looking for a driver. Really? Hey, I love driving. Not you. You're underage. No, I'm not. Don't you have to be 21? <sighs> Great. The whole world's against me. I'm 21. Liar. I am. Last November. Right. Well, what are you waiting for, then? Go on. She don't bite. Well, not very hard. Maybe I'll have my beer first, eh? <laughs> Hi. Chloe, can I have a word? Sorry, but I'm busy at the moment. Oh, no, Chloe, don't be like that. Look, I've been thinking about what you said going on holiday. What? You mean the holiday we can't afford? Well, maybe we can. Oh, on the pills, have you? I'm talking to Chloe. Maybe he sold his body to science. Then again, how far could you go on a tenner? <laughs> Where do you mind? That's my boyfriend you're insulting. Uh, you've been insulting for the past hour. Yeah, well, I'm allowed to. Look, can we talk about this at home, hmm? <sighs> Yeah, you can finish this. Vivian? Bob! You don't normally come home for lunch? What's in this? Japanese silk screen. A what? It was on special offer. Ambience is very important in a cafe. Come here! Oh, Bob, let's not get unpleasant about this. What did I say this morning? Did I not forbid you from making purchases? Did I not specifically forbid? Well, it was the sales assistant's fault. He kept saying all the right things. 
How on earth did you afford all this? Please tell me you didn't empty our joint account. Of course I didn't. So where do you get the money from? Well, I might have half emptied it. Half? You have squandered half our savings. Vivian, how could you? Holiday. It's your idea. I wasn't being serious. Mm. I think we deserve it. Yeah, we do, don't we? Anyway, it needn't be anything expensive. Hey, I'm not talking about a caravan in Skeggy. Can you see me in a caravan? That's all right then. No, I, what I was thinking of is uh, beaches and bars. Hey, do you know? I've heard Antigua's nice this time of year. Antigua? We're not made of money, darling. You're all taught you. No, no, no. no. Come here, look. We'll get something. There's plenty of good deals on this time of year. Hmm? We'll find something, I promise. Mm. Be our first holiday together. <laughs> <laughs> Great, and that's your final word, is it? Yeah, well, this is my final word. They've got us over a barrel. We're saddled with this lot. I'm sorry. I'll try and make up for what we lost. I'll make economies. How? I'll go on a diet. Don't be absurd. There's, there's not a spare ounce of flesh on you. I only wanted to open a little cafe. Why must you always rush in where angels fear to tread? <sighs> oh, don't cry, love. Come on. I, I, I can soon offload this lot, salesmen of my calibre. I can't help it if I have dreams. <sighs> yeah, but, but dreams cost money. Money we don't have. If you say so. <sighs> From now on, my honeypot, will you promise me that you'll only put your energies into dreams that we can afford? I'll try. God. She still hasn't shown her face. Is she all right today? Mother trouble. Well, I guess it's not easy getting used to a new baby. No, 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 not Gabrielle. I mean trouble with Diane. Had words. Oh. Benice and Gabrielle are fine. Good. Of course, I don't need to tell you that. I heard about what happened on your girl's night out. No, did you? <laughs> I hope you weren't too bored listening to Benice bang on about Gabrielle all night. No, to be honest, I hardly saw her. Didn't you? She was too busy being chatted up by that bloke. What bloke? You said she told you what went on. She never mentioned a bloke. Well, there was nothing to mention, really. Oh, you know what clubs are like. Hiya. Ashley, sorry, I haven't got you on. Do you want me to... Uh, no, it's all right. I I'm not stopping. Excuse me. Ashley? I'll see you later. What's all that about? Something and nothing. Hiya. Hello. I hear you're looking for a driver. Now, who told you that? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say it anything. No, wait. The list they're about. OK, um... Why would I want to employ you? I don't know. Think. I'm keen, I'm reliable, I've been driving for four years, got a clean licence. That's it, really. You're very young. No, Zoe, look, we really need to get this sorted. OK, I'll tell you what. I will give you a tryout. Oh, thanks. You can drive me around tomorrow, we'll see how you shape up. You won't regret this. I'd better not. And if he's no good, I will hold you personally responsible. Right. Well, that'll make a nice change then, won't it? Easy on the X right. That's right. Try not to touch the brakes quite so hard. And that's lovely. And just gently on the accelerator now. And that's lovely. I'm so sorry. Emily, what are you doing here? I were driving. I'm sorry. Well, you will be. Do you two know each other? This is my cousin, Kane. I'm really sorry. I suppose we'll have to report the accident. Oh, hang on, hang on. 
<laughs> no one involved the police. Well, we always call the police, don't we? Yes. Well, this has happened before. Uh, twice. Uh, to be honest, if we could settle this without involving my insurance company again, I'd be very grateful. Well, I'll settle that. I'll sort this out. You can go. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll pay for the repairs. Too right, you will. Of course. Bernice sacked me. What? Well, I walked out, but it amounts to the same thing. Frankly, I never liked working in that pub. Oh, come on, Diane, you love it. Well, maybe I do. But there's a limit to my patience. Uh, you don't have to tell me that. I know what you like when you got the wind behind you. I wish you'd see things from my point of view. Well, that won't happen if you go in all guns blazing, will it? Damn. What? I hate it when you're right. She really cares about you, you know. I care about her. Well, then, talk to her. Calmly and rationally. It's usually the best policy. Yeah, you never thought that when we were married. Well, we all grow up, eventually. Sad but true. Uh, good luck. I'll need it. Diane, can I have a word? If Bernice has sent you to uh, sweet she talk, hasn't. me... Oh. I'm a bit concerned about what happened on your girls' night out. I don't follow. Apparently, Bernice got, um, quite friendly with the man that she met. Who told you that? It's true, then. No, of course not. Well, she got chatted up. She's an attractive woman. What do you expect? But it didn't mean anything. So why hasn't she told me about it? Oh, Ashley, don't start all that again. Bernice loves you. She tells me she does. Well, if you're so worried, ask her what happened. <laughs> I can't. It has to come from her. I have to know she's not deliberately hiding things from me. She isn't. Let's hope not. So can you fix it? Yeah, sure. Well, don't just stand there. Well, I need to order the parts. Yes, so order them. Tomorrow's the earliest I can do this. I can't leave it out here. Well, it's okay. We can stick it inside the garage. Out of sight. Yeah. I want it sorted as soon as possible. Don't care what it costs. No questions. Yeah? Sure. Good day. Passable. You? It's been non-stop. This is my lunch. It's 20 to 4. Precisely. Of course, if you'd give me my old job back. I didn't sack you. You walked out. Not without reason. Look, Mum, I don't want to argue. Me neither. Perhaps we were both in the wrong. Yeah, perhaps. I don't know if I've been coming or going lately. But we're trying to balance Gabrielle with keeping this place going. It's not been easy. I know. I had the same problem when you were a baby. Cos Rodney hightailing it with me best worker didn't help. At least you've got people around you. I suppose. People to support you if you let them. I don't want to steal your thunder, Bernice. I know you think of this as your pub. It is my pub. But it's mine as well. Can't you see that? I've invested my savings in this place. I've worked really hard to help keep it going. Yes, it's your name above the door, but the fact is, half of it belongs to me. Don't you think I've got a right to say what happens? Well, when you put it like that... We shouldn't be at each other's throats. We should be running this place together. Well, we do, don't we, pretty much? So why aren't I joint licensee? Well, you've never asked to be. Well, I'm asking now. I want both our names over that front door. I think it's only fair. I see. Say something. <sighs> OK. Do you mean yes? Why not? You can be in charge on a day-to-day -day basis. It'll give you plenty of time to be with Gabby. As long as all the big decisions meet my approval. Perfect solution. I don't know why we didn't think of it before. We were too busy ranting and raving. Come here. Thank you. All right? Of course. What can I get you? I... Uh, you're all right. Come on. 
can't believe you crashed into Kane's car. Paddy, will you stop going on about it? <laughs> I'm not Kane, of all people. Oh, I just hope the repairs are going to be too expensive. I think the most important thing is that you weren't hurt. <laughs> I thought you'd be angry. I, what have I ever been angry at you? I never realised learning to drive would be this tricky. No. No, no, did I. For Gambia? Yeah. Well, we wanted to go to the Caribbean, but, well... As long as the sun is hot, then who cares? Oh, beggars can't be choosers, eh? No, not unless they can find someone rich to sponge off, no. OK, well, seeing as though you asked me so nicely, Scott, how much do you want? You what? Call it a thousand, shall we? I don't follow. It's very simple, Chloe. I give you a thousand quid, you get to go to the Caribbean. Just like that? Why not? A thousand's nothing to me. Thanks, but no thanks. Hey, hang on a minute. I'm not taking charity's money. What was the point of me marrying Chris if I can't treat my mates once in a while? Are you sure? Positive. Oh, thanks. Now we're all happy. Good news. Peace has been restored. Is it? I had to agree to Mum becoming joint licensee, but then she owns half the pub anyway, so what the hell? And this way, I get to spend more time with the people who matter. And who might they be? Well, you and Gabrielle, of course. You all right? I spoke to Diane earlier. Oh, whatever you said did the trick. She's not so bad when she climbs down off her high horse. She told me about your girls' night out. Oof, I'm surprised you can remember that much about it. She said you had a fun time. Well, that was OK. To be honest, I'd rather have been at home with you. So you didn't make any new friends, then? Well, I don't need any new friends. I'm happy as I am. Sounds like I'm needed. 